Welcome back to another episode of the Southern Michigan Carpenter. You think they lie about Michigan being cold? My beer's all froze up. First thing I want to say, I'm getting really aggravated by my uh, fine colleague, the Northern Michigan Carpenter. I'd say he's stealing my ideas, but as it turns out, who knows, maybe I'm just stealing his. Um, no, <laughs> really tell you the truth. Um, it's just me, it's me. Uh, little Dutch boy, got these pants, these car hearts. They fit me like a glove. They had a $10 garage sale sticker on them. My dad bought them for no reason at all other than they were practically brand new, brand new. These would be what you'd call excellent condition. When you think of buying a car, is it mint? Or is it excellent? Mint is like it hasn't been touched or driven. But excellent is, you know, it's got a few bugs on the windshield, but it's doing just fine. And this, when he always used to yell about things, that's your inheritance. People, you gotta clean some of this stuff out of here. What do you got all this stuff for? That's your inheritance. And it's like, oh God. And I talked about how you, our inheritance was, you know, the finding out if we could stand our brothers and sisters when the time comes that we all have to come together and clean it up. And maybe that's our inheritance is our, our togetherness uh, in the following times, bringing us together from little splits that we may have had for you or anybody. But no, this is my inheritance. There are all these things, there's so much that you just go, ah, and he's got it pretty well organized, but some of it, what do you do with it? If there's, he'd buy, look at this. Oh, this is just something. He would buy like a box of stuff from an auction sale. Somebody, who wants this, who wants this? And he'd yell, a dollar, and he says, sold. Or if he didn't say anything, they'd finally say, well, anybody take this. Just get it off the property. He'd say, I'll take it. And he'd get things like this. He's got a full four boot set. What do you think that's for? It says right there, Frankenmuth, Michigan. It looks like it's got stuff written in another language. Bavarian in it's not a four glass set outside of the fact that four people, a, a couple couples went on a date and they went to the Bavarian Inn and all decided they wanted one and they stole them together. That's the only way that's a set. Looks to me like someone was stealing one at a time. And there's a bunt cake thing in there. And uh, just, this is stuff we gotta get rid of. You can't. You can't keep it for 30 years with an ongoing garage sale. So, here there were these car hearts. And so many of the things I've been thinking about, like the pegboard we were gonna throw in a dumpster. I said, we were just saying we needed to buy some of that. We needed to get a little bit more. And there it is. Well, take it. this was there it would have disappeared but it fits like a glove and i think when my dad used to yell that's your inheritance not talking to me i i i don't worry about that too much figure they're just gonna take it away anyway you know that's how it works isn't that what they say
but I came across this with a garage sale ticket, all this trash he's collecting through the years. And I had just been saying, I need to get a good, good pair of snow pants or something for winter because I need another pair. And there it is. That's my inheritance. He gifted it to me. And the only reason I wear this hat is because uh, I bought one at the Holiday Tulip Festival when I was there with my sister. And then I went home to his place and he said, I like that hat. It turns out it's a, it's a Netherlands, a Holland, like Holland is the West, Western province, the seashore province of the Nether Netherlands, in case you ever wondered. I've been there, had a beer there. This is the only reason I know. I don't expect you to know, but I get sick of people always saying, what is the difference between? And you go, fuck it, I guess. You probably already know, you're just making people laugh at your stupidity and discouraging them from finding out themselves because why would I bother? That guy doesn't. And so uh, it's a fisherman's cap and he liked it very much. He never said, give it to me. We've got different size heads. But so the next time I came up that summer, went up there, I made it a point to go through Holland. It turned into like a seven hour ride home because of the sideways things I had to do. But I went and I bought him one. And it, for years on end, if you see him in a picture, he's wearing his version, his size, his version of this hat. He was a fisherman. Aloysius was a fisherman. That's why I feel it's okay to have a fisherman little symbol next to my Judas resurrection name because, well, it's not like I'm stealing it from anybody. Um, I got it from him. And besides, mine is the one where the fish is hanging up like this and it's got dots on it. It's just turned sideways. But there's a guy with a fishing hook or, or a chain or something and he's got one of these hats on and he's a fisherman. And that's me. So I don't think I'm stealing. It just happens to be that he had a dumber idea than me. And he wore this hat in the final pictures. Last pictures I ever see of him in his life, he was wearing this hat still. So I wear this and I put it on and what do I look like? I look like some guy in a fucking Amish barn. I said, geez, oh man, I gotta give the Northern Michigan carpenter some shit, you know? But no, we're friends. Really, all I was doing. Thing froze right up. It's kind of aggravating. I am going to sit here and I'm going to pull some staples out of a... Oh, and you know what? Talk about a gift. This is an old empty pack of cigarettes of mine that somehow is in that box. And I'm sitting there going, where am I going to put these staples? A good carpenter doesn't put them on the table. They're going to wipe off and you're going to be stepping on them in your bare feet. So adapt and come all over or uh adapt and overcome you find the resources you have and there it is no staples all over the floor i'll probably get one in the eye i did bring in a pair of old safety glasses of mine that i, I came across in my things could have been but uh this is what we do um looks like Carpenter's life is about to come out. Sorry with a bag of trash. Having a hard time at that one. See, that's the problem with using the wrong tool for the right job. 
They say adapt and overcome. You know what? Ugh. There, I got the fucker. Who needs a tool at all when you are one? Yeah, don't take that the wrong way. Boy, I sure hope I didn't break the glass on that frame. Ah, it sounds like there's more than one person out here. Now. I mean, more than two. I thought I heard Ella. I mean, Danny. What's that? Look at that. Oh, it's all my dad's stuff. I'm even wearing the hat that I, I bought that. him, but it's a copy of mine, and this one fits. And I told them the story about the fisher mm. and uh, the Jesus fish. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. And I was planning on telling the story while I was pulling staples. I kind of forgot about what it was. I do know that sometimes, you know, the one thing that keeps people from making their own kind of art is other people telling them it's stupid. And uh, I don't know. There's no art of mine that I seem to ever be able to sell if I were to try. I, I have been told to take it to the university and, and show it to the, what do you call it? Ambiguous Arts Department or whatever it is. But, uh, look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. But the truth behind it all is that, uh, look, see, you get an old picture frame. For, if you have an eight and a half by eight by 11, an eight and a half by 11, standard size paper that you're going to be putting in here you got to get the certificate one sometimes you buy a mistake for your eight by tens but it comes in handy evidently i bought this by mistake years ago and i couldn't bear to throw it out because well that's my kids and herons if they ever show up As it turns out, I'm, uh, I may be able to use it. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? How about we just start doing the fucking job? Can't talk and think at the same time. That's why I get punched in the face so much. I didn't know there were going to be so many of these damn things with such little payback reward in the end for the time that you spent. It's good for me. I've been doing this for years, sitting around talking without you even knowing I was here. Now that you made it, uh, yeah, have fun with it be even better if you judged it because then well that's what it is to be human justification you know that's what separates us from the others what's going on here so if you can justify it that makes you the one taking power from it So have at it. Glad to put a smile on your face on a long and gloomy day. Uh, so, in this show, we're not going to put all of them down. Boy, I have no idea how many of these things there were. And I am not going to hang it up. This is my guy. See, all you got to do is buy a cheap frame somewhere and haul it 
between at least two houses and yeah two houses take it on move once wait and you get to get this guy that's standing here with the thing down there that says uh you can squeeze blood from a stone and look yggdrasil the tree of life right there over on the side just floating in the damn atmosphere of of grass that's the southern michigan carpenter i know he's going to be in trouble for calling himself that because everybody knows he's just your average Polak.